The flags are raised. Starters are ready for them. And it's not going to be a first time uh, because Cloudy Glen was uh, getting ahead of himself. So they will have to take a turn and come in again. Just to confirm that Tim Pat is now running with only three shoes. He's off four shoe. That is to say his right front shoe has, uh, I think, come off at the start or been removed, having come loose. So Tim Pat running with just the three shoes as we wait for Cloudy Glen to get back the other side of the starter, Seamus O'Neill, who's on top of the rostrum. The tape stretch back into place. And they walk in once more. Flags up again. Oh, they're off. It's a goer this time for the Betfred Grand National Trial. Uh, 14 of them heading towards the first of 22 scheduled fences. Cloudy Glen in the centre, white cap lifted off ahead. Uh, Fontaine Collange is at the other end of the field, very early dark blue jacket. And fence two is the first of the ditches they encounter on the way round. So Cloudy Glen uh, to one of the greys towards the left, Grumpy Charlie. Close up, another of the greys, the Mayor Snow Leopardess second from the right, further right to Tim Pat with the blue cap. He's tracked over there by the likes of First Lord de Kue, who's got the star on the cap, and time to get up in the J.P. McManus hoops as they come to the third. Cloudy Glen leading the field early. Fortescue, a little bit chancy there. The orange and green. And they've got a couple behind. Bristol de May, Daryl Jacob in the double green, uh, waited with early on in the last group of four as they encounter fence four. Cloudy Glen hopping over just ahead, joined towards the near side by San Xavier in the shades of blue. Snow Leopardess with her grey head up between horses and Quick Wave is prominent in the black and red. Then Grumpy Charlie out wide, Tim Pat the blue cap up the inner alongside Small Present, the orange cap. Fontaine Collange in the dark blues just inched a bit closer, not a chance, pushing up around the field into the first turn, the pink sleeves. Time to get up, conversely cuts the corner right down at the running rail. In rear, working across from him to another grey, First Lord de Cue and then Fortescue. Bristol de May last but one and Omar Moretti. The red cap is last of the field as they start off across the back straight for the first time, going along at around about 27, 28 miles an hour, and they've completed three quarters of a mile. So moving on towards fence five, and it's Cloudy Glen and Sean Quinlan. Sean, who reached a, a career landmark of winners earlier in the week, leading the field here in these still very early stages. They get a bit of respite from the wind in the back straight. Get a bit of cover from the trees out over on the far side as Cloudy Glen leads them towards uh, fence six. To San Xavier, the light blue cap. Snow Leopardess and Tim Pat riding behind with Grumpy Charlie in the red, white and blue. Not a chance, the pink sleeves towards the far side. Track there by Bristol de May, who's gone a bit closer now. Uh, Jacob in the double green sends Bristol de May up to better than midfield as they reach the midpoint in the back straight where time to get up left a trailing leg. And mildly inconvenient, small present who's been knocked back through the field. The yellow sleeves only got a couple behind. Fortescue has dropped back to be last. Omar Moretti has moved past him as they continue their progress across the back straight and now move on towards another open ditch. Fence nine is looming up and they've covered more than a mile. Cloudy Glen, St. Xavier, the Grey Mare Snow Leopardess up between them. And then Grumpy Charlie and Not a Chance, Tim Pat, the Blue Cap, Bristol to May wide into the next turn. Time to get up in the hoops is next. Quick wave who jumped off handily. The red and black has drifted back through the field and has now got company from her stable mate, Fontaine Collange, the dark blue. Then small present Omar Moretti and Fortescue as they ran the last part of this bend. It brings them to the end of their uh, first circuit. The first uh, nine fences negotiated and they turn on in uh, to face the next. Cloudy Glen from Snow Leopard S, Tim Pat, Grumpy Charlie. San Xavier towards the left, and not a chance, the pink sleeves. First Lord de Cue on the far side of time to get up. Bristol de May back into midfield again. Cloudy Glen spring heeled at that one, jumped it very fluently, a bit quicker through the air than Snow Leopardess. Fortescue, meanwhile, continues in rear, and with small present, the patiently ridden Omar Moretti, the red cap, and Fontaine Collange out widest of all on the extreme left. So they take another open ditch. Cloudy Glen made every inch of the running so far. Fortescue. Had to be kidded along on landing over that one. The orange and green 
as they head up towards uh, Fence 12, steadily approaching the halfway point. Cloudy Glen with ears pricked, again jumping soundly from Snow Leopard S and Xavier. Bristol to make yo-yoing through the field on the extreme left. He gets a bit closer once more. Tim Pat's popping away quietly. Brian Hughes, blue cap on the far side. Upsides Grumpy Charlie as they come to Fence 13. Cloudy Glen again, very accurate there. Uh, Small Present and Fortescue both ridden along on landing. Fontaine Collange is very patiently ridden. Dark Blue Silks for Charlie Deutsch. He's made no sort of move on the mare yet. And they've got one more circuit to go in the Betfred Grand National Trial. Cloudy Glen leading the field to the grey mare Snow Leopardess. San Xavier, the light blue cap, is third. Tim Pat, the rail. Then Grumpy Charlie, Bristol de May out deep to Not a Chance and First Lord de Cue, the grey poking up on the inside of Quick Wave, who's in the black and red. And then Fontaine Collange, followed by Small Present, the orange cap on his inner is time to get up. Omar Moretti, the red cap, is last but one, and Fortescue is last of all, but there's little more than uh, 10 lengths covering the field as they move on down the far side on towards uh, Fence 14 at just shy of 30 miles an hour. Cloudy Glen. One of three in the race for Venetia Williams, seeking to give her her third win in this race. Has the advantage over St. Xavier. Snow Leopard S hopped over in third. The field just beginning to thin out a little now. Omar Moretti's being ridden along in rear. It's been hard work for a while for Fortescue, and both those two are cast slightly adrift as Cloudy Glen and St. Xavier lead them over another plain fence. Snow Leopard S still right behind them towards the far side amongst a cluster of greys with Bristol de May and Grumpy Charlie being pushed along. Then quick wave in the black and red, midway down the back straight for the final time. Tim Pat Blue Cap jumping well. Uh, then time to get up, who's ridden in behind First Lord de Cue. Another of the greys right down on the inner as they go towards six from home. Cloudy Glen, St. Xavier. First Lord de Cue improving down on the inside. Snow Leopard S wide. Then Grumpy Charlie, Tim Pat. Time to get up, quick wave in the centre, the red sleeves. Jacobs having to nudge away on the old boy Bristol de May. Not much response at the moment as they take five out. That was the penultimate ditch. Fontaine Collange in the dark blue is being ridden. She's a good ten lengths off the lead as they leave the back straight just ahead in turn of small present and not a chance Fortescue is toiling on Omar Moretti is a, a long last and it's Cloudy Glen with just over half a mile to travel and this final line of four fences to jump up the Haydock home straight Snow Leopard S the former Beecher chase winner has moved up to give chase and Xavier relegated to third ridden along quick wave with the red sleeves turned on in fourth first Lord de Coe now being asked for more effort on the far side Bristol de May is plugging away in behind Fontaine Collange on the left is getting a little bit closer as they come to four out. Cloudy Glen taken on on the near side by Snow Leopard S. Tim Pat has been pulled up. Grumpy Charlie has been pulled up and they really are now thinning out into the teeth of this strong headwind with still three fences to jump. On the left, quick wave beginning to close. Cloudy Glen still just had the lead over the ditch to Snow Leopard S, the grey mare. Quick wave making a line of three. First Lord de Coe back and forth at the one pace, no more from Fontaine Collange. Bristol de May has weakened away. Here's the second last quick wave. Joins Cloudy Glen. Snow Leopard S is still fighting on between them. They've got a furlong and a half to go. One more fence to jump in the Betfred Grand National Trial. And it could go one of three ways here. Snow Leopard S, quick wave on the near side. Then Cloudy Glen, Snow Leopard S, plucky. Grey head bowed low. Quick wave battling away on the near side. Cloudy Glen can offer no more. Two mares fighting out the finish of this stamina test. Quick wave, nosy ahead, nostrils flaring. Quick wave inches home from a gutsy snow leopardess. Cloudy Glen gave it his all in third. Then first Lord de Coué, Fortescue running on from small present on a chance. Time to get up St. Xavier, Fontaine Collange. Quick Wave has won the Betfred Grand National uh, trial, now 25 to 1 with the, the sponsors for the, the Grand National itself, under Harry Bannister. First success back from a horrible, horrible hip injury. What a way to do it. Yeah, look, I uh, can't take too much credit. It's a lovely filly, and, uh, you know, Jess and Venetia, they had a spot on today, and uh, yeah. no, just nice to be able to fill in the gap. Yeah. First th uh, and third for Venetia Williams. She's a dab hand least end chases. Yeah, look, you know, she's an exceptionally good trainer, and, um, you know, my shout out, you know, Sharon Consetta and Barry, who, you know, have faith in back in me to, to, to put me back on. Sorry, to put me back on. Yeah. Um, you know, it means a lot to get this winner back. And um, yeah, it's been a long road and lots of people to thank. But I won't bother them with all that now. I, I had the race pan out. Fifteen off you. Yeah, it's plenty. And I, you know, I probably ended up a bit closer to the end as I would have liked. But it's you know saved where we could. And um, she's jumped really well. And 
she travels so strongly and stays well, so you know, <laughs> ideal horse you want in a race like this. Cardi Glenn and the runner-up Snow Leopardess really made it a proper race. Definitely, and you know, it, it just shows the, the Philly staying credentials, you know, and um, you know, she appreciated being back on this better ground after the Welsh National and um, you know, like. And obviously doing it here in a big race, your father Nick is, is chairman here, so it's extra special. Yeah, he'll be gutted. He's not here. He's in Morocco. Um, but uh, yeah, it means a lot. It's probably the most local track to home. And uh, yeah, no, it's uh, I enjoy, enjoy the meet, every meeting here. And uh, no, race means a lot. And this means a lot because you did go through the mill with a hip, didn't you? Yeah, I wouldn't want to do it again now. And uh, look, it's it's hopefully out the back now. We can we can move on. But uh, no, delighted to get a win today, and uh, especially in a race like this. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.